A large PC rent was observed after the extraction of the nucleus and much of the cortex. Very carefully, the remnant cortical fibers were aspirated. The patient is nodding the head continuously and uh, suddenly nodded the head at that point of time. You can see the tear starting from one o'clock position and going up to one of the end is coming up to six o'clock, the other is at seven o'clock. You can see the folds of the capsule, but hyaluridal phase is intact. So I'm hoping that hyaluridal phase will remain intact. There is a prolapse of the capsular bag at six o'clock in addition to the tear that you see in the posterior capsule. I'm assessing the situation, what to do at this stage. I can fix a retropupillary retro iris lens or I can go into the vitreous cavity and put a scleral fixation lens but I decided to put the lens that I designated for this patient, the hydrophobic acrylic lens in the sulcus. Generally it is a taboo to put the lens in the sulcus but in my experience when you have done a good cortical aspiration, when everything is neat and clean, the hydrophobic lens is absolutely safe to put it in the sulcus. Uh, in such special situations where you would like to conserve the hyaloidal space and the uh, pars plena area or the scleral uh, area, I am inserting the lens in the anterior chamber, pupil is mid dilated. I need to put it in the capsular way. What I am trying to do is with the edge of the lens, I am pushing the iris backward to visualize the capsule, anterior capsular uh, rexis edge. So I could successfully, uh, you know, place it in the sulcus. I'm sure about it. Form the chamber again. Now I'll have to put in a different way the uh, the leading haptic. So I'm going to flex it now and place the tip of the haptic in the sulcus. So there is still, so there is some enlargement of the, uh, some bulging of the posterior capsular tear, but still there is no loss of vit vitreous. So I've carefully positioned the tip of the haptic in the sulcus. Now both the haptics are in the sulcus. I'm sure that the optic is well placed in the center. And I've had no problems at all. Multiple times I've done this. Uh, there's no problem of uh, UV is glaucoma hemorrhage or uh, chaffing of the, pi the pig pigment layer of the uh, iris. It's more feared or uh, event than anything else. So there is a, a large capsular flap that you see and some prolapse of the um, capsular bag at six o'clock position, as you see on the screen, not six o'clock of the eye. And then uh, there's a capsular flap. I do not want to remove it. I just wanted to push it uh, with the Simcoe cannula under the iris. This is the anterior capsular flap. So if necessary, if it comes to the way, I can yag it postoperatively, but the patient has done extremely well postoperatively. My personal experience says that hydrophobic acrylic lenses can be implanted in the sulcus in special situations. Thank you.